Hi, I'm Moody. I'm feeling Moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Cancer. This reading is for Capricorn, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Capricorn, Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides. What's the full moon message for Capricorn? Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides. What is the full moon message for Capricorn? <clears throat> Okay, so you open up with it no longer serves you, let go. This full moon is telling you that something no longer serves you, Capricorn, it's time to let go. That's what the cards say. And not only let go, but it's time for you to do something different. This is a rare time. It's almost like a solar eclipse. It's very rare. Hmm. You're around somebody or there's energy of envy, jealousy, making somebody feel like there's a lack. Somebody is even greedy. There could be illness. Something's going on with someone's health. Leave me a comment. Tell me what's going on with you like that. Because that's the energy spirit saying, let go of that. Last quarter in Gemini. Last quarter moon is about releasing Gemini is. But of course, you have a choice. You have a choice. And it could be concerning love with Gemini. Maybe the time has come and, it, you know, it's not always perfect timing to make a move, but this seems to be the perfect time to let go of envy, jealousy, lack, greed, illness, anything negative regarding the color green, maybe your money, <clears throat> maybe somebody's jealous of the money you make, your job. Maybe you're getting a promotion and somebody's jealous. I don't know, but there is some negative shadow energy that you need to make the choice under this full moon, which is all about letting go, letting God, all about preparing for something new by cleaning house, getting ready to receive new energy by making space for it. Mm. Yeah, that's what I see you doing. I see you making space for something new. Hmm. Yeah, you know that it is time to release old habits, old people, old things. Hmm. Because they have created some envy, some jealousy. Whatever has created that energy or brings that energy or you, makes you feel that energy, it's time to let go. Because they are no longer serving you. It's no longer serving you. This is not getting you anywhere. This is a rare time. Spirit says do something different. Focus on something different. I feel like you've outgrown something. <laughs> you've outgrown someone, a situation. Okay. Yeah, karmic. You've been receiving signs about this for a long time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven signs at least. Okay. You have been receiving a lot of signs telling you which way to go more signs telling you which way to go this is a karmic situation a karmic partner only supposed to be in your life for a reason or a season not a lifetime it, they no longer serve you. The karmic situation, the karmic partner, you've been receiving signs regarding this for a long time. Mm. 
Oh, yeah. Spiritually, fifth dimension. Definitely signs that it's time to release. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more about the color green. Going from the negative side to the positive side. You got to clear some energy here. This, yeah, you got to prepare for what's new and what's coming in. Look at that. Queen of Cups and the Star. Aquarian energy could involve a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius. You could have those signs in your placement as well. But this is all about you changing something negative to something positive. The star is at the center of your reading. This is all about you freeing yourself from something because it no longer serves you. It's time to release. Mm. And get excited about what lies ahead. The Knight of Wands, he gets excited about what goes forward. You know, what we do in the present prepares us for what could happen in the future. That's why you always have the ability to change the future by what you do in the present. That's right. I see you preparing to do something different. You have a choice here with the two of wands going forward. Oof. Again, being at a crossroads. Okay. Being indecisive too long can lead to detrimental results. Okay. And that's why timing's important. This is a rare time. That's why you, you're feeling extra pressure here to do something now, right now. Because I feel like you have seen the signs. This is past energy. You, you've gotten out of something or you're very close to it, Capricorn. That was karmic in nature. That wasn't really adding to you. No longer served you. You know you had to make a choice to let that go. I, You're either in the process of releasing it or you've already released it. There is somebody else in the fifth dimension that you're with, meaning someone you had a past life with. Yeah, maybe that's that new green energy coming in, pulling you out of this crossroads. This is about love. The Queen of Cups is very loving, knows how to love you, motherly, will do anything for you. Love is a verb around them. They show you that they love you. Yeah, man. Hmm. This is all about you going after what you want. The star is about your wish fulfilling, fulfillment, being hopeful that you can obtain your wish fulfillment in love. This concerns love, giving your cup to somebody. There's somebody that you want, probably this person in the fifth dimension, but there's others that keep you from that energy. Or there's a fight. There's a conflict. There's a, looks like two males here. There's more than them, though. There's a conflict with you getting this love connection. But when you think about it, you get excited it's almost like you get excited and then you get sullen. Mm. Tell me more, spirit. <laughs> Tell me more. Okay. Capricorn, full moon in Virgo. Could involve a Virgo, a Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Aries, Sag. Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, yeah. Mm. Yeah, whatever signs you were getting, it was leading you to the truth, to be truthful, to be authentic, to express how you really feel. Mm. 
this karmic person, karmic situation, four of pentacles reversed, it held you back. This whole situation held you back. You were getting signs for a long time, but weren't reading them, weren't seeing it clearly, moving forward in truth. Oh, this no longer serves you. You know, this person wasn't even really about love, the Queen of Cups. This whole situation, it wasn't a loving situation. It wasn't built on love. Something with love was missing. That's why you're being told to release it. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Qualify spirit. This is somebody who wasn't emotionally available, didn't show love, had a hard time showing love. This was somebody who showed envy, jealousy. Oh, this was somebody that wanted you for something other than love, maybe money. Okay. Yeah, you waited hoping that this would change, hoping that the love situation, the love making, the sincerity of love. Some of you were committed to this Aquarius. But some of you are tired of waiting now and you're moving forward. Current energy shows movement. You're ready for combat too. Somebody has some information, some energy that they're willing to take a chance. They're down in the trenches. They're strategizing, being patient until spirit says move. Mm. Definitely in the spirit with the star and the hierophant, thinking about a commitment to a wish fulfillment. They're hopeful now. They're ready to engage. Prince of Wands taking small steps nonetheless making an impact, going from a page to a night, ready to communicate. Somebody's ready to communicate. They're excited about the prospects of communication, about getting back together with you, Capricorn. Somebody is on an adventure. They're ready to move forward towards you. Somebody, yeah, they're letting down their guard, their defenses. And excited about seeing you thinking of this new journey. Taurus energy, Pisces energy, Aquarian energy. Something new is starting. You're freeing yourself from a situation and getting ready for a spiritual advancement. Although you still have some questions, concerns, don't know much about the fifth dimension relationship even. It's there. Tell Capricorn about this spiritual relationship. And yeah, they didn't want you to see this. This is somebody though who is warm. You know them. You know them. You get a warm feeling when you're around them. Yeah, they did not want you two together because you're playful, you're happy. Mm -mm. <clears throat> it's like you know this, but you haven't experienced them lately. Eight of swords trapped in your head, all caught up in your thoughts. That's what's keeping you two apart currently because you're feeling it. But I don't see that it is, or or the steps are so small with the Prince of Wands that they're not, oh, to keep them under the radar of whoever's causing this conflict. This has you at a crossroads, deep in thought. Mm. Tell me, Spirit, Capricorn, tell me about this past life relationship that... Everybody's trying to keep you from that in the dark. Yeah, somebody has a desire to resolve um, somebody that was limiting them, controlling them, creating challenges. Yeah, they want the result to be benevolent rewards. Yeah, because this has been challenged. It's been controlled. It's been limited. 
This is divine masculine who feels like this. He wants to move that color green from negative to positive. He wants a new beginning. He wants to see growth. That's why this can't continue to go on as it is. And the full moon in Virgo just about brings an end to it, meaning makes them so uncomfortable they cannot continue to not do what their heart is telling them, to live in truth, to see the signs, to be about the signs. Divine Masculine is also the Emperor. I just feel like the Emperor is getting ready to make a move. He cannot be contained. No. He knows he's been limited when it comes to this spiritual relationship that... They have done everything to shed darkness on this, to make it a negative. But now he knows better. He knows they were trying to limit their connection, to control it, to create challenges. Mm. Mm. So right now, before this happens... Divine Masculine is retreating. Yes, he's retreating right now, preparing to communicate, to change this system, situation around that he's been restricted from by others in the past. What's an important self-care message for Capricorn Spirit to help them with this? Okay. Something's going on with your family. For some of you, something is going on where your family is involved in this. And for others of you, your family can be your greatest support at this time. Also, Spirit says you're an earth sign. Remain grounded. Get out into nature. Right, the woods, park, water, that's also going to bring you important information, clarity, communication, spiritual protection also. What else for Capricorn during this time? A rare time, a time to make a difference, a change. Mm. You know, I get that you have a lot of options. You have a lot to choose from or somebody has a lot to choose from. But I believe that where you are now, you've always had a lot of options. What you like about this person in the fifth dimension is that they don't allow their self to be an option. That is so damn attractive to somebody. Okay, tell me more. The other thing that you like about this person is they only believe in a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Intimacy is shared by two people, not a whole bunch of people, whereas a lot of people were involved in the past around divine masculine with this person it's just one-on-one -on -one. it's very intimate also you two are attuned you're in line you're in alignment that's what you like about this spiritual partner past soulmate anything else spirit i see things starting as soon as you let go of what you know you got to let go of it. It's It's gone as far as it can go. They've gone. This karmic situation has gone as far as it can go. Right? It's about you thinking about you now. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Yeah. Let's see. What else? Capricorn under this full moon energy. Tell me about this new beginning. Spirit. 
let go. Make it, first you have to make room for the new beginning. Then it will be on its way. Wow. So there, this full moon just says let go of any residual things. I know some of you have been doing it, but now it's like really a necessity. This full moon makes it a necessity. It's time. It's a rare time and it's time for you to do something different. Why? Because you have something new. You got something new. Make room for the new beginning. It's on its way to you now, but you don't want it to arrive and not be welcome. There's no place for it to reside when it comes to you. You got to make room for this. You two are in tune. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one relationship. You do have the sun. All you got to do is make room for it and it will turn itself upright. Mm. Because it's already warm, it's inviting, you just have to welcome it in. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. If you're able to identify with something that was said, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment. I'm praying for you to let go and to be able to make room for this spiritual connection that's waiting to come in. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for hanging out with me until the end. Until the next moon phase. Namaste.